Hey everyone, I'm just going to go over my stats and my results for trade 200 to trade 300. Um, trade 200 to trade 300 took me from May 20th, 2019 over here to uh, April 1st, 2020, so about a year. I took a six month break in between there, so it wasn't actually a full year, but it took six months of trading to get to 100 trades. So that's still a long time for 100 trades, but it's, it's, it's quicker than my first 100 and my and trade 100 to 200. So definitely getting quicker, seeing more, taking more trades, um, but still not where I'd like to be in terms of uh, seeing uh, profitable trade opportunities. And this batch of 100 trades, 200 to 300, was actually my first batch of trades that was that had a losing um it was a losing batch of 100 trades so i lost a dollar and 29 cents and uh i think there are a few reasons for that i'll cover those in a sec i just want to talk about some basic stats first so my my win rate here win loss ratio 62 percent win ratio 38 percent um losing trades and uh if you look up here my average um, losing trade was about twice the size of my average winning trade a little bit less than twice so uh, 56 cent loss on an average losing trade 33 cent win on an average winning trade and so obviously those stats having twice the size my, my losers being twice the size of my winners and only being right 60 percent of the time um, is not a profitable uh, traders equation so that's not going to lead to to good results obviously and so it was a losing batch and um, so I'll just cover the the PL and then I'll talk about um, why I think that is. So I, I was doing pretty well for the first uh, 30 or so trades and then I went on a little bit of a downtrend here, but um, nothing, nothing uh, unusual. And then on July 25th here, I took my break for six months and I came back January 17th. So when I came back on January 17th, I kind of just picked up where I left off and I did pretty well and got up to the highs that I was at for the first uh, 50 trades. So um, did pretty well. And then um, that's when the market started to get very volatile in February. So I was forced to trade bigger. And when I was trading bigger and the market was moving faster, I actually started trading worse. And so I was taking bigger losses. Um, I was taking more losses and the losses were bigger. So it kind of wiped out every all my gains. So once we got up here to on February 13th, kind of formed a double top and then uh, eventually just got a measured move down, I guess, and uh, went into the negative territory. So there was a one trade um, where I lost $4 or something and it was just a bad decision and uh, a losing trade when the market was really moving quickly. So on a normal day, it would have been a 40 cent loss. So from up here at the highs, 337, I would have been down to like three bucks, which is nothing. It would still be in a pretty good uptrend. But because the, the bars were so big, I wasn't able to trade small. And so the losses were much bigger. So I ended up getting all the way down here. I think it was right here. So February 28th, all the way down, it was at two bucks profit and it went all the way down to minus two bucks. And so from there, I've, I've been fighting back and never got it back to positive. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty confident that had this trade happened somewhere in June of 2019, it would have been a tiny blip and I would have still been positive. But because it happened when it did, I think that's what caused the negative results. That's not an excuse. I mean, it's still negative. It still wasn't perfect. One losing trade, if I was an excellent trader, it would make a difference. So obviously there's a lot of work to be done. But um, that's just kind of what I think in terms of um, the timing of it, that it, it made me, it made this batch a, a negative one. And so um, so I got, I ended up losing $1.29. But Overall, my thought is that I st the one criteria I'm using is I'm looking at my last 100 trades. So on trade 200, am I better now on trade two on trade 300 than I was on trade 200? And for me, despite this the losing batch, I really, really think that I'm much better than I was. And so one, one area is, is skill enhancement, getting better at trading, but I also think that another aspect of it is to get comfortable trading bigger. And I've been really afraid to increase size. And I think my worst batch of 100 trades is this one. And I lost $1.29. And so it's like about break even. 
And so if I'm break even right now and I'm trading five times the size, break even is break even. If it's zero dollars now, even if I'm trading 15 shares, it's still zero dollars. So in this case, I would have lost a dollar. So multiply that by five or 10, I lose five dollars or ten dollars. That's like the worst case scenario in terms of my results over the last 300 trades. So I don't want to stay afraid to increase size, especially because I feel like I've gotten better. So for the next 100 trades, I do want to increase a little bit. I don't know how much I'm thinking, try to get up to maybe two, five, ten dollars like these last 30 trades. I've been forced to trade bigger, so I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with a dollar risk, um, two dollars, two dollars of risk. So I'd like to keep that going and maybe increase a little bit over the next hundred and get comfortable increasing size, knowing that worst case, if I'm if I'm hovering around break even, then it doesn't matter what my size is. I'm going to hover around break even. And so I shouldn't be afraid to increase size. I think it's OK um, to increase a little bit. So that's what I'm going to try to do over the next hundred and, and see where that takes me. But just as a final thought, uh, I do really think that I've improved over the last year and, and my last hundred trades have been a, over a year. So I do feel like I'm a lot better than I was a year ago. And I'm hoping that these next hundred trades um, can show that. And, and I hope that it shows up in the PL as well. And that's going to be a really big confidence boost for me.